Okay, today we're going to learn how to do a tourniquet application and we're also going to learn how to palpate for the veins that we will be accessing for phlebotomy. What you'll need for this is you're going to need a tourniquet. You can use a new tourniquet or you can also use a tourniquet that's been previously used as long as you've wiped it off and cleaned it before using. We never reuse a tourniquet once blood or, or other soil contamination is on the tourniquet. First thing we want to do is obviously you want to wash your hands or sanitize your hands. When I pretend a little bit with the hand sanitizer, you'll put a little bit in your palm, rub until it's completely dry. Now take just about 15 or 20 seconds. If you wash your hands, you need to hum happy birthday twice to yourself to make sure you've washed your hands enough. Once you've done that, you'll greet your patient, tell them who you are. Hi, I'm Trevor, I'm from the lab today. The doctor's ordered some samples from you. Do you mind if I go ahead and take a look and see if we can get these samples? Patient gives consent. So let's go ahead and begin our procedure. We have our non-latex tourniquet. Make sure it's good and, day, or good and intact. No rips or tears or no signs of soil on it. I'm going to place it around the patient's arm. You want to keep it flat in the back. If you raise your arm. If you notice in the back, it's still smooth and flush in the back. We, don't, we try not to let the tourniquet roll as that will cause our patient a little bit extra pain. Okay. All right. So I have my tourniquet around the patient's arm. With my non-dominant hand, I'm going to position the strap on the back side, give it a pull, place my pointer finger of my non-dominant hand underneath the tourniquet, pull with my dominant hand, and we're going to tuck under, leaving a little tab to release the tourniquet. Remember, we always want frog legs up. Not, or excuse me, bunny ears up, not frog legs down. So we have our tourniquet in place. It's nice and smooth and flush. We just need a little bit of constriction to get the veins to pop up. So you can ask your patient to make a fist. You don't ask them to pump their fist. Just make a fist, and this will help in assisting finding the veins. With the two index fingers of your non-dominant hand, what you'll want to do is you'll want to start from one side of your patient's arm and palpate, pushing in and down moving gently across. Your first sweep, you're just seeing what your patient has, and then you'll pass through again, determining if you have a vein, artery, or tendon, and choose your selection site. And with this patient right here, I'm going to go right here with this vein. All right. Then you'll release your tourniquet and prepare your slides. And this is tourniquet application and palpitation.